Yo, what is going on guys? It's Sean here bringing you another vlog. So, I haven't done one of these in freaking ages and it is so good to just uh, be back making a vlog. So, I've just been focusing more on design because obviously I really enjoy uh, doing graphic design, all, all sorts of art and stuff, so I've focused a lot more on that. But now I'm back to making another vlog, all about making the most of the little things you have. And so as you can see, um, probably by you know the thumbnail you probably saw, I've got this uh, snooker table and pool table but it is so, so tiny. I, I, I don't know if I can get a better view, but literally this is like maybe four and a bit foot long. So, you know, I love snooker, but the, the problem is playing on a little table is not the same experience as playing it on a 12 foot long table, which the proper ones actually are. So basically I just have to make do, you know, and that's good advice for anyone watching this who, you know, think that they always need the best of everything. You know, just just make the best possibilities out of what you've got. So while I'm here, I may as well record some snooker. I always like to make a little count of what break I'm getting while I play snooker and my highest, I have a little, um, I do a little like tally thing, not a tally but I record so here you can see my highest uh, score is 74 with a break of 40 and I also play pool so I'm not sure if you saw those times um, but that's for another day because this is a, it's a pool and a snooker table so obviously I can do both. So I record my best breaks and my best times for pool. But I'll save the pool times for another video. In terms of this match, so far my break is three. So over here, I've got a little uh, scoreboard and I've, I've just put it on three. So I know what my break is. So now I need to see what red I'm gonna go for next. Now, is that one good? I think that one's good. Let's, tr let's try that one. I'll put it down, uh, I don't freaking know, that's good enough, alright, let's see if I can get this one in, wouldn't it be embarrassing if I freaking miss? Oh my, oh, it went, in, it went in the opposite pocket, that was a great stroke of luck, so now my, uh, now my break is four, which isn't great, so now I'm gonna try and go for the black color and hopefully I'll be left on the red. So this is a pretty long black, but again, it's a small table. So it's not as difficult as playing properly. Why did I miss that? Freaking hell, it's the pressure of the camera, isn't it? Let's be honest. Okay, I'm gonna play a bit more and I'll see what good pots I can get. So I need to pot a colour and get onto the yellow, so I think I'm going to go green um, due to the fact that it's covering a pocket which I might want to use to pot the yellow, so let's see if I can get a, a good freak, a good enough angle for this. Okay, that's, that's uh, good enough. That is actually a really great shot. When you look at the position I'm on the yellow now, pretty much dead straight. And if I get the, the green back out, it won't go on its spot because of the brown. And it won't go on the brown spot, but it will actually go on the yellow spot. So if I put a, mm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. I'll get onto the green somehow. Oh. 
Alright, so next is green. It's gonna be hard. I don't even think I can pot this, but we'll just hit and hope, I guess. Oh dear. The freaking white just shot straight in. At least that gives me a chance to start again and get onto the brown. So. Here's what I'm going to do. I can move the white anywhere, obviously. I am going to go in line with the middle pocket, but slightly offset to the right. Uh, so this way, so I can screw back onto the brown. Like so. And just quickly, I know a lot of you are probably not into snooker, but I want you guys to know like a bit more about me. So I obviously take an interest in snooker and pool. So I thought it would be interesting to just show you. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy snooker. So let me know if you guys have like a secret sport you're, you're into that's like maybe darts or like skiing or something like that. Make sure to leave a comment. So there you go, as you can see I've screwed back, so now I can put the brown in the far left corner. There we go, I potted the brown, so now we are on the blue and we have to get back onto the pink. So what I'm thinking, put the blue in the uh, top right corner, so let's play this shot and uh, see how, how it goes. So I potted it, I'm not in a great position, but... I can actually pour that pink. So, let's go ahead and pot it, hopefully. Oh, I missed cue. Freaking hell. Of course I have to mess up. And I nearly dropped the cue. And I freaking messed up again. That was really close to the camera. Okay, that was a nice shot to the top right. Please don't go in. Okay. <laughs> The white just rolled away. So now we are on the black. As you can see, uh, yeah. Let's just pot the black. Oh God, oh my God, oh my God. That was really close. I'm about to attempt one of the most crazy shots in the world. Guys, I'm gonna double it into that corner. Let's see how it goes from this view right here i think you can see that okay come on we need to work out the angles to give it a bit of chalk yes yes I'm, I'm i'm getting it okay come on oh my god that was so freaking close let's just finish this off god damn it no way all oh, that's just pot the white Really? So we're back in the setup now. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about appreciating and using things to the maximum, even if you don't have the best things in the world. So by my setup, you can probably tell, like I've just got a, uh, like a HP laptop, which isn't amazing. It's, it's a bit dodgy actually, but you know, I, I just get on with it. I still make you guys videos. I still try my hardest to stream and make designs and stuff and I don't have the best mic. I have a blue snowball, it's great but there's so many better ones out there and I don't have the best monitor. I have a TV and you know I think that is great that personally I can still create the content for you guys, I can still do all the things I love. Um, by using these things to their to their maximum, so I don't I don't just go out and buy the best of stuff. I'd rather just stay with the stuff I already had and try and use it to the best that I can. So I want to encourage you guys to um, think about something that you you really wish you wanted um, as an upgrade to something you've already got. So let's say you really want the the next 4K curve LG TV. Um, no, I wasn't saying LGBT, it did sound like that. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you just want to just think about how much you actually watch it, how much you actually use it, and just think about would it really affect your life that much if you got the newest one? 
But obviously, if you're gonna make the decision, if you can, go ahead, go get the new the new stuff. But uh, if you're in a position where you have to like save up for the next big thing, think about is it really worth saving up for that, or could I just get on and use what I've already got to the best that I can. So I hope that you've took something from that advice. It would be great if I've helped any of you out there. Um, I don't know if you want to buy a new car. Just think, just use the toy car, guys, come on. You have to use the toy car to the best of its abilities. Oh dear. All right, so that leads me into my next thing. I'm about to go live on Twitch, so make sure to follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash it's shiny. And I am going to be doing this phase fan art project, which is huge. I'm doing it for all the, the members in the phase house, and this is the third one, which is Blaziken. So, from the drawing, as you can see, a, a phase logo manipulation of fire. Because obviously Blaziken, Blaze, Fire, a sloth, he loves sloths. And I have already started, this was about an hour's work yesterday night um, stream. Thank you to everyone who turned up, that was great. And these are the reference images, oh my god. Look at the freaking sloth, dude. It's so cute. So I really enjoyed doing this, so make sure to tune in. I'll be doing these face fan art projects loads and loads because there's still a lot more members to do. So far, Apex and Adapt I've done. So Blaziken is my third one. Make sure to tune in, guys. But I am about to go live. And to set up me going live, I have to go on OBS. Oh my god, the scenes. The scenes. <laughs> Look at how many scenes I've got. Oh my god, the senses. They are... Okay, you guys don't understand. So, what I want to do is find the right appropriate one. So, I want to stream. I don't want to record. And I want to stream my laptop. Just normal overlay. I don't want to record face cam. And, yeah. Then I'll check all the settings. Make sure that audio is disabled for my speed up streams. Make sure the video is uh, at the right one. And... Yeah, I think I'm ready to go. I just need to uh, set up the I need to set up the Twitch chat and um, all of that, and then I'll be ready to go streaming. So if you don't know where I'm uploading the Phase Fan Art project, over on my channel Shine G Effects, where I do all sorts of graphic stuff. Uh, it'd be great if you went over there. I've already uploaded two of the speed arts for Adapt and Apex for their digital paintings, and that yeah, I'll be uploading the rest of them over there. But that's going to be it for this vlog guys, I hope you enjoyed, I'm going to be doing more snooker and pool if you want me to do, and obviously I hope you like my art as usual, that's not finished by the way, I've still got loads to do, but I'll see you in another vlog, like, comment, subscribe to join Shine Nation, I'm out.